yo what is up thanks so much for tuning in welcome to the channel i am deborah this is purusha intuitive and we are looking at the energy for <laughs> a timeless you know it's a timeless reading is what i'm trying to say as long as the message resonates then it's definitely meant for you this is scorpio sun moon rising venus obviously cross watchers are welcome I'm doing this at the beginning of the year, 2023, whoop, whoop. Good year, hopefully, good vibes. We're in the middle of Mercury retrograde, guys, just as a heads up, that brings up, yeah, a lot of old stuff, physical pain, confirmation right there. Like, you know, obviously we all go through stuff that can bring a lot of pain and sadness and heartbreak. And when we are in Mercury retrograde, um, usually that stuff comes up, you know, past relationship, past love, things that really aren't working in our favor. And it can be a pretty emotional time, you know. But this, this um, pain that you're dealing with, with this situation, it's actually helping you to move through it. And <laughs> so you can ultimately release yourself, right? It's a guide. Like, obviously, when things come up in our life, they are learning lessons. How can we, you know, return home to ourself, so to speak, authentically who we are and what we need not these facades that society people places things put on us um it's really about like i said just kind of aligning with who you are and even though there is some challenge in the situation that you're dealing with which we'll look at a little bit deeper like i said it's also those emotions the pain the struggle is actually serving you as a guide for freedom you know to find something that is more heart honoring that is more in alignment with you and who you are you know you could be dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius um, someone who's just kind of immature doesn't really you know <laughs> take responsibility for things is what i'm hearing that king of wands just popped up i just saw king of wands queen of wands knight of wands so Lots of fire energy. We'll see if it comes out as, as I pull. But yeah, you know, um, I don't know. I mean, life is, is challenging, right? Things get brought to us regardless of if everything is moving and flowing well that we kind of have to overcome. And this does, you know, Page of Cups, that's a love offer. But it's also something that's not you know, really grounded. It's It has a feeling of immaturity around it. Um, pages are like newbies, right? They're, it's it's uh, someone who doesn't really have the knowledge or the skill to know how to navigate that offer. Home, family comes up with that 10 of pentacles. So you could be dealing with uh, a family member or, um, you know, someone you know you have kids with you're partnered with etc but there is this vibe around you know i think in some ways yes trying to heal the pain the dynamics that's between you and this person or situation there is a desire for things to become a lot more grounded and stable and work together but let's look at this a little bit deeper. Where is this pain coming from? Okay, <laughs> there's that page of wands. <laughs> so, you know, I think this is kind of being fickle. Um, lots of, like I said, lots of wand energy on the board. So dealing with someone who, um, you know, probably has a lot on their plate, stressed out, etc., but also can be really immature, like I was saying, you know. The Page of Wands is, it's a fun energy, it's an exciting energy, but it's also someone who doesn't really think first, you know. It's like they take the action and then we'll, we'll figure it out later. But unfortunately, for this person, that's why they're so stressed out, because they're not thinking things through. Um, 
you know, it's, to me, it's very reactionary. It's someone, like I said, like someone who doesn't think about it, who just responds and reacts. And it can be very fiery. The wands energy is a little arrogant. It's prideful. It's, you know, can be stubborn at times. Um, they might be dealing with some financial pressures and strain, etc. But I don't know. They're just not, you know, it's, it's baby energy. They have two pages out of three cards, which basically just talks about not really having the knowledge, not really having the wisdom, knowing how to, um, you know, navigate this situation for the best for both of you. And Honestly, Scorpio, it, it leaves you to do all the work, right? You're the one who's like, I love this Seven of Wands card because this guy has to strategically navigate all those wands, right? And so it's like, not only is the responsibility left on you, but you also have to be really kind of, you know, strategic with how you go about it. And I feel like, especially in regards to this person, because remember, they're like, you know, they're in their own world, like uh, not really aware, A, of, of all that you do and all that you kind of, you know, to keep things up and running. Uh, you're trying to be diplomatic about it, right? With that Queen of Swords energy, that's air energy. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you could be partnered with, but you kind of vibrating as the King or the Queen of Swords is really talking about taking a very level headed approach to the situation. Yeah. You see this person, you see that they're immature. You see that, you know, they don't have a lot of life skill, life knowledge, regardless of how old they are, right? Age does not equal <laughs> maturity, nor, and I'm sure you guys know this, nor does it equal um, wisdom, unfortunately. Sometimes some people just don't <laughs> have a level of awareness about learning through life, through their experiences. And I feel like you understand that about them, Scorpio. It's also very stressful for you, you know? With this Nine of Swords energy, that stress, that's fear, anxiety, the things that keep us awake at night. Because it's a lot, you know, it feels very heavy for you. Like you feel overwhelmed and burdened. And it's like, not only do I have to manage this, but I have to try not to piss this person off. <laughs> it's kind of how it's it's a reading out, right? Um Ooh. So, I mean, if you guys, you know, like I said, there goes, okay, yeah, we'll take it, the Eight of Swords. So, if you guys are partnered, married, have some sort of commitment, family, that's been coming through heavily. But this can also be like the Hierophant, Ten of Coins vibe. That can also just be someone that you have like a more traditional connection with. It doesn't have to be a lover or a family member. It can also be, you know, someone you do business with or a friend, just kind of someone that has similar beliefs, similar values. Like I said, it could be family structure, but really it's, it's almost like, to me, I keep hearing the tradition, right? The Hierophant kind of represents, uh, like in the traditional deck, like, um, you know, religion and, you know, a specified way of doing things, kind of following that divine order, so to speak. It's not spirituality, though. I mean, it can be, but it, it's not really. It's more like the structure uh, that, that tries to embody spirituality, right? And I feel like, you know, there's a lot of emotion. It's it's hard because I feel like, you know, you guys might not be talking about what's going on. So there's not really a lot of understanding. Instead, it's almost like with this temperance energy, you know, living very much in your mind, in your head, in kind of that, you know, energetic world of what's going on. It's freaking you out. And it's limiting both of you guys, right? Let me look at them a little deeper. 
Uh, ooh. Okay. Well, <laughs> they, they've kind of set, you know, this is basically that energy, the five of swords of just setting their boundaries and not budging. So whatever they have done to you, it's this, um, my way or the highway. And that makes a lot of sense for you, Scorpio, why that is so stressful. Because it's almost like you can't win, you know, unfortunately. But like we talked about at the overarching energy, this being in this type of dynamic is incredibly painful and stressful. Because no matter what you do, what you try, how you try to do it, it's just not going to work out, you know? And this person, like I said, they've drawn that line in the sand and they're not really interested in budging. And if anything, there is this opportunity to come together to have more of a harmonious connection and bond um, and exchange between you two. But because that's being blocked, because this other person wants to <laughs> have their cake and eat it too, right? Young, wild, and free. They, you know, it's it's that vibe of not really wanting to be responsible for anything. And I get that, you know, responsibility is <laughs> it's something else, right? It's a pill to swallow. Um, but I think that, you know, like I said, Scorpio, for you, it's actually helping you get out of this situation to find that freedom. And also what I love is where are you getting your fuel, right? That sourcing of fuel of where, you know, you feel empowered, you feel strong, you feel confident in yourself. You don't have to cater to this person's every women fancy. And, you know, I mean, honestly, yeah, <laughs> the way it moves forward, guys, I mean, this is really, this is just, you're dealing with someone who doesn't really want to be honest about the situation. Um, and it's, it's kind of leaving you in a bind, so to speak. You're getting cornered in and it's stressful for sure. Um, but it just basically shows like as it moves forward, you know, there's a lot of clarity. You're going to find that clarity on some of the shady stuff they're doing, how they're trying to kind of manipulate the situation or go behind your back to get what they want. But it's also going to bring out that value of what is not working. So two of wands is that energy of like, when we struggle, we have to find harmony and balance between two opposing things, right? And it's not really happening because this person won't allow it. You know, they like to be on top. They like to have the final say so, be in control of the situation. And so it leaves you, like I said, it leaves you in a between a rock and a hard place. And so I feel like eventually it's going to get exhausting for you. And then you're going to finally have that moment of release because you're gonna see it right clear as day. Spirit is gonna bring you that 100%. And it will feel like freedom, yeah. <laughs> this is the card of getting yourself tangled into something that <laughs> wasn't as pretty once you got there, right? She has those tentacles coming out of her skirt and he is running away, right? This is also talking about be mindful of what you run towards, right? When you have this break, when you have this freedom from this person, you know, be mindful of what you are, where, you know, don't exchange one bad thing for the next. I think this is a lot about learning and growing and understanding, right? That's the guide. Having patience, yes not situations aren't always fluid and easy but it's also having that knowledge of when someone is a little bit shady right shady pants mcgee dude <laughs> 100 i feel like this is about you yeah i mean <laughs> like i feel like you're finally like untangling yourself from a situation that has been incredibly hard and incredibly painful and like i said it looks like you have worked at it from every angle possible to try to um, 
you know, bring some type of balance and harmony in this situation. But as long as this person is doing that five of swords, like, no, <laughs> you know, uh, it's, you know, I mean, you can't get anywhere, right? And I feel like you see that. And I feel like it is your opportunity for freedom. And it is going to feel so good. Even though it's painful right now, Scorpio, it's going to feel good when everything is said and done. So I'm sending so much love and blessings. I know these situations are not easy. I would love to support in whatever way possible, whether it's through this video or totally reach out for personal services. Uh, thank you so much for your love and support to the channel. I so appreciate you. Lots of love and blessings. Have a great day. Hey, hey.